I don't know you, I don't need you, out. You, you're handsome. You can stay. You, what's your name? Uh, it's Mark. Mark Whitehouse. Would you please? Thank you. And cricoid pressure. And we're in. Let's inflate the cuff and listen to his chest. That Mark with a C or OK? Oh, oh, with a C, actually. Oh, I like a Mark with a C. Very continental. Yeah? My mother was French. Dr oh. Hannah, please. OK, release cricoid and let's get him on a ventilator. My boss here thinks I lack professionalism. No discipline, see. Bit of a loose cannon. And he's right. Breathing sounds good. Not exactly a model doctor. Forever embarrassing him. Late for my shifts. Larking about, chatting up policemen. Belly's nice and soft. No signs of intra-abdominal bleeding. But the thing is, he knows as well as I do that even though I'm a nightmare to work with, I'm one of the best rhesus doctors he has. And he is going to miss me. Pelvis feels unstable. Let's get a tension band on that straight away. And Charlie, when you get through to traumas, can you let CT know that he needs scanning ASAP? Jakey pushing on all lines, and let's get an ortho down as soon as. And thank you for your assistance. Right, thanks for that. <sighs> Some reindeer have just escaped from the city farm. Apparently they're all over town. You don't need to tell me. I was stuck in one of the jams earlier. That was really impressive, in there. Yeah, well, there was someone in there I wanted to impress. So, any idea who did this? Found him by the roadside. No sign of a vehicle. Whoever hit him disappeared pretty sharpish. Something might turn up. So, are you going to ask me out or what? It's just it's Christmas, it's busy, it's an ED, so we haven't really got time to play it cool. So how about you pick me up here at, say, eight? Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, Mark with the C. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for keen. I actually meant tomorrow. Yeah, Control pulled the CCTV images of the car that hit Michael. Managed to get a make and a registration number. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, look, I need to ask you where you were this evening. Me? Working. I've been here all night. Yeah, Dr Hannah, you told me earlier you were caught in traffic. Yeah, I went out for a bit, but uh, what, what's all this about? The hit-and-run vehicle was registered to a hire company in Edmonton. And? And they were able to give us the details of the person who hired the car. No, this isn't right. Is this a joke? No, I'm afraid it isn't. We need to take you down the station. Has Mr Collier ID'd his attacker yet? Well, he said he didn't see anything. They came at him from behind with a, a bat or a, a piece of wood. Doesn't know. Can you think of anybody who might want to hurt him? Well, Paul's had a spot of bother with uh, Alistair McCormack. Mm. He's a bit of a weirdo, but I don't think he had any beef with Jeff. Have you seen him around lately? No, not really. No. What do you mean, not really? No. I mean, no. I'll check him out. Elderly lady lives alone. Name is Rosie. Neighbours heard cries for help. Follow me, mate. What's the news? Father says it's a tip. Jeff, it's a judgmental. Just because she's an old lady. Oh. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Hello? I think we're going to need your help to get her out of there. What, in there? Why are we waiting for the fire crew to do it? No, because she's had a stroke. Now, there's a chance we could administer some clock-busting drugs, but we'll have to do it within two hours. Yeah, you, you don't even know how long she's been down, do you? What, so we just give up on her? Is that it? About two hours, yeah? This place stinks. Hey, shut up. I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. How she lives is her business. She didn't call a lifestyle coach. Thank you.